thing that shocks most people about William Penn is the fact that he's a slaveholder. Here's this guy who believes in the Quaker faith. Everyone has an inner light. Everyone has a spiritual equality. Yet he's owning people. Some of those slaves later he'll give their freedom to. Others will remain enslaved for their entire lives. In his first will, he sets aside 50 acres of land for Sam and Sue, who are enslaved Africans of his, and their heirs. Unfortunately, there's a second will, the one that is actually enacted at the point of his death, that just doesn't deal with what's going to happen to his slaves. That issue that here is this man, somebody who has been, if we think of founding fathers as Washington and Jefferson, Penn's probably the grandfather, is owning slaves.